Mason Knight 333, we're on the corner of 43rd and Crenshaw, where obviously Crash Unit, or they call them George Units, are doing a, not sure if there's a warrant check on this uh, dispensary here, but as we know of, there's been three incidents concerning weed dispensaries of this previous uh, month. Uh, definitely R.P. Fat, so you know, everybody know him as being an all money and crew with Nipsey. Real humble brother, he'd be missed, and uh, I'm pretty sure everybody here from Crenshaw is feeling, you know, his loss, you know, already. So, Sport Mason like 333. We are on Fairfax and uh, Slauson, where Fats, better known as Faso, is being laid to rest right behind me. Um, well known church, uh, actually, uh, Crazy Tombs was just laid to rest, uh, West Coast pioneer. Dub C brother died, uh, you know, some time um, a few months ago, and uh, at this very location, it seems like uh, you know we're back here 
putting the rest uh, one of the West Coast younger pioneers of the rap game, you know, uh, All Money and Crew, Faso. So definitely gone and never forgotten for this person or this gentleman who was shot and killed there on 59th and West Boulevard. Uh, you know, some conflicting issues in the story, but uh, apparently he was in front of the, you know, a location and some cars, or one or two or more cars came by shooting uh, multiple bullets striking him and which he died there at the scene there on 59th and uh, West Boulevard. Real intense scene. Uh, you know, until this day there's no one found actually for that homicide itself. So, uh, then initially after that there was a few more dispensary shootings. One on 43rd and Crenshaw. And uh, 48th and Crenshaw. So not long if those were two were related, but uh, definitely something for the community to be aware of when they're getting, you know, their marijuana at these locations to be careful. You know, it's okay to have your medical card, do it the right way, but apparently not only people are targeting, but police are targeting these locations. Um, I guess it got a lot to do with paperwork and so on and so forth, but however, uh, Fats was killed in front of uh, the dispensary there on 59th and West Boulevard. Um, another shooting uh, shortly after that was on 79th and Western Ave, right down the street from the Egyptian Temple, Koresh, uh, in which a uh, 21-year-old Justin was shot and killed adjacent to the center um, after he got off work. Hey, he's a, he's an activist. All right. All right. No, but he him. So yeah, 21 year old Justin was shot and killed on 79th in uh, Western. And uh, he just got off work. Apparently, he was uh, going to the hamburger stand. You know, allegedly, uh, you know, was approached either on foot or in a car, and uh, was shot multiple times there at that location. And then during the time of his shooting, there was altercation between the police and the community activists there at the scene, in which he was arrested for assault on a police officer. And because uh, they were pushing, pretty much pushing people back, it was real intense. And you know, everybody takes death differently, you know. And which this case, we have to be mindful of, you know, more or less getting the victim help per se than, you know, uh, police pushing. But at the time, I guess they were pushing everybody back, ended up pushing this activist uh, named Dino and he got into a confrontation with the 77 Los Angeles Police Department uh, police officer and which he was booked on assault on a police officer and shortly after that uh, I think the case was either dropped or he's fighting it in court not sure but anyway to not take away from 21 year old Justin he was no gang ties uh, apparently just innocent target went back to the candlelight had a chance to talk with his father who's out of Compton and he said Justin just actually got out of Compton to move to a better location on there on a you know 79th and Western ended up getting killed in South LA uh, due to could be a mistaken identity or whatever happened but yeah uh, a big gone and never forgot to Justin age 21 who was shot and killed there on 79th and Western. But another shooting that really disturbs me is a shooting of a 15 year old African American male off of Imperial and Avalon in between Spring and Imperial where he was just walking down the street uh, and apparently someone rode by and shot the 15 year old and uh, he shortly ran down the street and collapsed at the uh, gas station there on Maine and uh, Imperial.
So, again, it goes back to random shootings. You know, you got a 15-year-old who no gang ties and, uh, you know, was shot near the 110 freeway just walking down the street. So, definitely a, a, a very gruesome case right here because I, when I went back the next day because I always go back and I do follow up there was no candles put down for this 15 year old it's kind of disturbing because the parents don't have the answers to heal but then on top of that the community you know either are fearful of putting candles out or finding out about the information of a 15 year old because here we are a, almost a kid that was shot and killed there on you know, Imperial, in between Imperial, Maine, and Avalon. So, you definitely gone and never forgotten to that 15 year old. Didn't get his name, but obviously, again, it goes back to the community stepping forward. We don't always need police in the business, but we know how it goes when people start targeting kids and women. You know, the pen have a way of dealing with that situation, and the streets do too. So, that's what's up. Yeah, it's your boy Mason I do three. We're on the corner of 41st and Broadway where there has been a shooting uh, in broad daylight. When kids are getting out of school, we have people here at the shopping center ducking bullets. You know, there's donut, there's a boot store, there's a nail shop, and um, definitely there were some kids getting out of school when this happened. Possibly a male Hispanic uh, shot, unknown why, if it's gang related or not. But, uh, Definitely a hairy situation here on 42nd and Broadway. So it's your boy Mason Knight, you watching Million Hits 2017. Peace. In a domestic violence case there on 78th and Harvard, LAPD responded to a call in which a guy was barricaded in a house, uh, possibly with a rifle, an assault rifle. And again, this is almost like a case like Las Vegas where, uh, you know, you, you approach in these different scenes where people have high powered weapons and uh, Vegas got pretty much the brunt of a person who was not mentally you know stable and which uh, 58 people was killed and 500 injured well in this case SWAT had to come out to 78th and uh, Harvard for a domestic dispute and we have to be mindful because after Vegas you know police is on heightened alert everywhere they're going now for, you know, uh, assault rifles. And uh, you might own one, even though it's registered, you get into it with your girl, she calls the police, next thing you know, you got SWAT knocking down your door. But however, this uh, gentleman uh, gave up after a whole night and a standoff with SWAT. Uh, very intense scene because there was some prayer, prayers that was answered from some of the local uh, people in that area that prayed for this individual to give up. To make this a peaceful situation, that it can turn out to be peaceful and lovable and kind. But Lord, if the man had, or the woman who was in that house, if they have a weapon, Lord, let them leave their weapon behind and come out. We don't have people to talk to. That's right. When we call for help, they come and hurt us. Yeah. Not this time. Not, Not this time. This Excuse time. the devil in the name of Jesus. Turn over Hallelujah. to the Lord. Yeah. Leave it in your hand, God. Yeah. And uh, which he did, and uh, came out peacefully. So uh, definitely putting out there in the community to be mindful of the guns that you do have, if it's registered to you or not, because the cops are gonna come out full force swinging, pretty much with swatting the whole nine. So if you're not really ready to go down like that. Then you should come out a little earlier and uh, sort of give yourself up and let them uh, find out what exactly what the domestic call is about. So this is your boy Mason I three three three. We're just leaving Southwest, uh, where uh, African American female was just bought in for possibly stabbing or vandalism, um, in which she was pretty belligerent with some of the officers as well as they being belligerent with her. So. You know, don't know why the situation occurred there in Lamert Park, but we definitely are following up on, you know, people who are part of the community there who end up at the police department giving the situation in uh, St. Louis and abroad. We definitely, you know, 
have to start coming up to the police station to make sure that we don't get any issues like Mytrice Richardson or Sandra, uh, you know, in the community. So we're here at Southwest, they're bringing her in. Um, and we were on Dagman, and uh, she's been escorted by, uh, I guess, some another unit. And we're making sure we're going, we're going to go in. We're going to ask pretty much questions on, uh, you know, if she's going to be handled correctly. So she, then now they're bringing her in. They're probably going to ask for additional units to uh, Southwest to basically prevent from fighting with her and um, hopefully she doesn't put up a fight so we definitely we came down to check on her they bought her in she's, she seemed to be complying she's booked um, unknown for what charges yet they haven't booked her but she is very calm and she's basically cooperating with the officers to get the process going so uh, these are some of the things that we definitely offer as the press to come down and um, make sure that the inmates are treated fairly. So, so far Southwest is on the handle. I don't know if she'd be booked over to any other jurisdictions for warrants or whatever, but uh, definitely telling the community at this particular time to be mindful and watchful of each other. So it's your boy Mason I-33, checking on an inmate here at Southwest, uh, right off of King. Peace. Things that I've done